this is real and it is impacting people. That's why you have sheriffs from all across the country here speaking out because it's impacting people all across the country. We're taking the brunt of it in Texas and we're reaching our fill. I'm going to be honest, we're reaching our fill. It is an invasion into the state of Texas being led by cartels for profit, being facilitated by Secretary Mayorkas and a president that refuses to secure the border of the United States, using human beings as crass political pawns. We should not be allowing organizations who traffic humans, who spread drugs into our communities, to, to continue to have their free will and free reign. Tens of thousands of people are dying. China sending chemicals into the cartels, paying them to ship it into the United States. This is a major national security issue. It's a major human issue. We've got to stop these cartels from wreaking havoc on our country. Where I'm sure they're not looking to surrender, they're not looking for some sort of political asylum or political relief. What they're looking for is to abscond in the United States and, and continue their trek northward undetected. I'm not only the Terrell County judge, but I am also a rancher. Our ranch is 17,000 miles and it butts up against Mexico. And I'm here to tell you that this is an invasion. They are coming across the border and the ones that come through Terrell County typically are not family units. They are people in camouflage. They are trafficking drugs. There are high speed chases and we're having to deal with it on a daily basis. Government's first duty is the safety of the citizens. The crime and violence that was once across our southern border has been given an open door to now come to every town in America. But what America needs to know is that what was once happening in the backyards of American border towns in the southwest is now in the front yards of Americans all over our nation. My message to Washington as a citizen is to do your job or get out. Fulfill your first responsibility, safety. Secure our border first. Identify everyone who enters the country. This is truly a crisis for our nation and is the number one safety and security risk to America at this time.